Steph, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Of course, you're the main man from Care of Property. Yep. What made you want to get involved with Avenue United? I only come down here to paint the stand. <laughs> um, no, just came down here to paint the stand. Um, met the management side last year um, from the first team. We spoke about plans and sponsorship and sort of really see the vision of what they are trying to create here from the back end of last year moving into this year. And it was something that, you know, as soon as I sat down with John Beams and that, it was something I really thought, yeah, I can invest in this. As in what we can do for this club to help, you know. Personally, I think it's a sleeping giant, um, which I think is getting stronger. It can get stronger and stronger. And then this year, again, we've done the same. We've done a bit more. We come in as shirt teams, as first shirt sponsors, tracksuit sponsors. We replace a lot of signage around the club. Uh, just basically awareness for us as a company and what exposure the club can give us. Um, we put a few banners. Um, and yeah, and it seems to be going really well. I have spoke to chairman, vice chairman, back to back meetings with the management side, I spoke to a lot of the players. The vision around this club and the buzz at the moment is it's exciting. It really is. Um, the plan's in place, the five year plan I've heard of is it's great. And it's something we want to get in, we want to get involved with. We can be we really want to be this club's long term sponsor. That was my goal. Um, so yeah, this is basically why we're down here. Pretty much coming into our first season, the, pre, the work gone on behind the scenes during pre-season has been absolutely fantastic, it's been busy from everyone and you know just the way things are going on the pitch and off the pitch I think is all moving in the right direction and for us as a company who's set up in the heart of Abingdon it's something we really want to get involved with. And how important is it for from the players on the pitch to the management team, the people behind the scenes, how important is it? And good is it that you have people from Abingdon and it's a real kind of community oh, it's, it's fantastic, it's fantastic, you know. The plan in place is to get there and make this the most community club going. Um, and that comes from the top, from the, from the board committee, straight down to the first team management. You know, the first team management is very strict on, we want to be a community club. We want to be basically the only community club in this town, in this region. And it's something that I personally think can happen you know there is a fear of you know when the lads finish down at Lambrick Way where are they going to go you want to get them up here you know and the way you can do that is by building a community spirit and I think you know the last three games we've been up here you look at the gates on a Saturday and there's families involved it's not just guys and girls coming up having a point watching a game of football they're bringing the kids up you know you go into the function room after today there's a, there's a really good vibe today and it, it's like a fan zone vibe and it's not basically driven by adults, it's driven by kids as well, which is good and that's what we want. On the pitch, we've seen a draw, two wins this week to give, in, give us seven points out of our first nine. How good has it been here on a match day experience? In the match day experience, to be fair, we sort of really got involved around the back end of the winter. We just come off the back of COVID last year, so October, November, and you know what it's like, dark, cold nights, don't really agree with everyone. But it was just true then that, you know, if you can get the right things in place, then you can get a good, good match day feel here. And today, for example, third game in to the season, third home game, I know it helps having three games on the bounce at home, coming into the, into the summer. It, it was good. We, you know, the attendances were good, and if we can just build on that, it's good for this level. It's brilliant. You know, everyone's coming behind after the game, coming to the bar. They've had a drink. We've got a good food truck here, um, and everyone's. Like, I look over there now, and I just still see people sat outside there, you know, enjoying a pint in the summer sun. And personally, I've I've never known such a good setting, really. Um, and that's from anything. Even just coming down here during the day, it's, it's peaceful, it's great. And in the evenings after the game, it's just such a good vibe. You know, there's, there's no drama, there's no hassle. 
it's it's family friendly. Whether you want to come down on a Saturday afternoon or whether you want to come down 7:45 kick off in the week, you know it's got that. And I do believe, after seeing from what I see today, we can build on that. And you know, if we can average some really good attendances, it's only going to benefit the club on the field and also off the field.